tickets to the wind. So you've got to have a skipper who can read the wind on the water too. So here we go. It's light wind right now. Light and a big puff coming on. I can't tell the direction. It looks like a small lift. Big puff coming on. Two, one, puff. Same wind direction, maybe a little lift. Now she should step forward now as it gets lighter over here. You can tell it's much lighter. We're racing to this world. Someone would notice, good puff after the tap. It's hitting right now and building. In three, two, one, huge breeze. Now we're gonna do the jiving every 30 seconds drill. The wind's dying off, I wanna get some down. Skipper calls the wind downwind mostly. So the skipper should be looking upwind a little bit more at times here. So this team's very experienced. I mean, they've been paying their dues for a couple years now. And so what I'm noticing about this team right now is the skipper's not looking upwind. So downwind, the skipper is the wind caller. Upwind, we both anticipate the wind by seeing what's on the water. But uh, upwind and light air, the, the crew's back is to the wind, so it's hard for them to see But uh, in the light spots. But this looks pretty darn good. Our goal for today is to get better at heavy air jibes by maintaining speed through the jibes. We hear it all the time. Max, you know, heavy speed through the jibe to keep the apparent wind low. Don't let the boat slow down. So that's what our goal is right now on jibes, is to maintain speed through our jibes to improve our heavy air jibes. Okay, again, this is the jive every 30 seconds drill. And you don't have to be exactly, you wanna pick a good spot about every 30 seconds. And one thing we don't do enough of in, in sailing is repetition, whoa. Repetition, you gotta do more repetition to get good at things. You've got to get to the point where you're doing something eight, like speed test, eight, 10, 12 speed tests before you really make any conclusions. You can't do three. You can't do three jives during these drills. You gotta do eight, nine, 10, 12. The only comment I have again is she doesn't know what's gonna happen to the wind. She never looks back up at or She should actually be looking back towards me. A lot of puffs, where you're gonna end up after your jive is gonna be back where I am. So you're looking back over your left, your back shoulder to try to plan your jives a little bit and know, is it gonna be windy after the jive or light after the jive? then you know what to do with your steering. If it's gonna be light after the jive, you come out with a little more heat. Okay, race two, and it's very light. So this should be the crew forward, slightly raised up. They should have seen this coming, actually. This is a lower angle than what we had off the line the last race. Great wind through the middle here. The good thing is he's not bending his knees, so it's okay to have his mane out just a little at times here. As soon as he starts bending his knees, he's gotta make sure he doesn't have that much twist at the top of the mane big puff coming. I don't think they see it. The crew has his back to the wind just a little, so the skipper has to be able to see it. Great wind right there. Okay, so these team's goals are 29er Midwinters West in March, which is uh, four months away, and then the U.S. Youth Championships in Pensacola, Florida. It's very light and she's leaned forward. See that? That's perfect. That helps keep the boat on the wind as well. If you move back, you get lee helm. If you move forward, you don't have lee helm. Again, all of our drills are designed so that the kids know what drills they should do when they don't have a coach. 
This is the jiving every 30 seconds drill. We often do this in heavy air. Pretty impressive what these guys did. They had a spinnaker rig problem. They came out with it rigged wrong and they fixed it in about a 15 knot puff, dead downwind. <laughs> it was pretty cool. I should have got it on tape. Again, 30 seconds. Every 30 seconds jive. Make sure you pick a pretty good spot and know if the wind is strong or light after the jive. That's your, you gotta look at the wind before. Oh, I just saw him look up wind. I saw him look back. Good. Okay, so I think that was a little bit of an erratic turn. So you got to get the tiller extension kind of pivoted smoothly without jabbing the boat around too much. I can tell what they're working on. They're working on the hesitation in the middle. And I think that's a good thing to work on because when you sail in heavier wind than this, that's what you have to do exactly. So maybe they're being a little cautious now, but that's gonna work in the 15 to 18 knot puffs, the way he's sailing right now. So I like it. I can tell what they're working on. He's doing a good job of keeping his main steady. generally understeering just a little. Good, he just took a look upwind before the jive. Again, he's just being a little nice, but I don't mind that. There we go. That was a good jive in that wind. Splitting the 420 group here. So now that it's lighter wind, we got to stay a little further forward. We got to be careful. Oh boy, current's ripping. I should have filmed that. The current isn't just strong because it's going out, it's strong because it rained like nuts yesterday. And uh, this morning. So the water's just coming out of everywhere. All the storm drains and everything. So it's just ripping water out all the little rivers. Last time doing the jibing every 30 second drill. And then we're gonna go into a windward mark rounding drill. That was a good one. These guys have gained a little since the See, I would be going in this moderate wind, I'd be going higher as a crew now because there's holes out here. So I would be raising myself up higher and making the skipper steer down, hike and steer down in the puffs a little bit more. Try to use the puffs to get lower. That was a little more send it. Yeah, we talked about maybe understeering a little too much on their last run, and this one. This one's steering maybe just a little harder, especially into the jives where it looks like it's gonna be light coming out of.
Driving every 30 seconds. Oh, I should have stayed on that one. Driving every 30 seconds. Driving every 30 seconds. That was kind of cool. Oh, the girls gained a lot. Nice work. Okay, they lost their speed a lot on that jive. Mostly light air, so it wasn't a problem. are pretty evenly matched and there's a beach right there <laughs> nice job 